Hi, so this is the second video in the series of enlarging shapes on a graph where we're going to be looking at scale factor and center of enlargement. Okay, so this particular question hopefully should be fairly straightforward if you've had a look at the first video in this particular series. In this example, we're going to give you um, a fairly typical high school maths type problem where it'll say something like a large shape A by a scale factor of a half and the other uh, bit of information I'll give you is from the center, and let's say in this particular case, eight, one. Okay, so those are the two things you need to do. They're usually valued at about three marks, some question like this. It should be fairly straightforward for you. The main thing is you need to make sure that you draw the lines of enlargement relatively accurately. So I'm just gonna stop the video do that for you and then we'll come back. Okay, so what I've done is drawn the lines of enlargement um, at the center eight one. So this is here. So this is along the corridor eight or along the X axis eight and up the stairs one. So I've, at that point, it's a little bit like, I think I mentioned in the last video, it's a bit like standing there and shining a torch. And what you've got is these straight lines that go to the edge of the shape because of course light travels in a straight line. Okay, so if they want to enlarge by a scale factor of a half, basically we're gonna make a shape in here which is half the size of that shape. But it has to be at a point where the center of enlargement is at eight one. So the first thing we do is we say, well, to get to this point here, where have we gone? Well, we've gone along in this particular case, let's say we've gone along 16 and we've gone up let's say 8. So let's say we've gone along 16 and up 8. Well to enlarge by a scale factor of a half we just simply half these numbers so 8, 4. And if we plot that point we know that 8, 4 is there. So this point here is A and the new point that we've got is A flash. Alrighty. So I hope that's okay for you. I've just simply worked out how far along I've gone from the center of enlargement and how far up and then I've half the numbers. Okay. So I'm going to have a look at that one there. Now let's say in this particular case I've gone along 12 and I've gone up let's say 6. Well if I've gone along 12 and up 6 I'm now going to go along 6 and up 3. So I just go along 6 which is about there, and up three, which is gonna be something like about, let's say, there. Okay, so the next thing I do is I look at this line here, or this point here. So in this particular case, I've gone, let's say I've gone along 12, and I've gone up 10. Okay, so along 12 and up 10, so I'm gonna half that, so that's gonna be six and five. Okay, so I go along six and I go up five. And what I find is, is that I can create a triangle like that, which is exactly half the size of triangle A. I'm gonna call that triangle B. So that's really the things that you need to be aware of with this particular type of question. Make sure you work out what each of the points or where each of the points are located. And then in this case, it's a scale factor of half, so I'm just gonna half it, okay? Always, always, always go from the center. So you go from there, along and up. From there, along and up. I hope that's been okay for you. I'm going to provide a couple more examples of this in the rest of this particular series. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Look forward to seeing you inside the next video.